Pretty sunrise right there. Welcome to another beautiful day right here along the Florida Gulf Coast. Now we're back on the beach today. If you didn't see my last video, go watch it after this. Today, we've got the beach cart back there. It is loaded down. We are ready to rock and roll. You never know what's gonna happen out here on the beach, so I'm excited to get out here and hopefully catch some fish. All right, folks. Looks like a good spot right here. The beach is absolutely gorgeous this morning. We gotta get our first bait out. Now, before we get into the action, I wanna show you guys the area right here that I'm targeting today. Look at the beach, okay? You've got these deep holes that are uh, separated by these sand flats, okay? Anytime you see something like this, uh, it is definitely worth fishing because these fish will stage up in these deeper holes. Now, I use Google Maps to find a lot of my fishing spots, and I recommend that you do the same. We baited it up with a little piece of shrimp, and I'm just gonna throw it right here in the surf. Y'all know the drill, the little rod always gets smacked. <laughs> so you gotta, you gotta put a bait close, especially early in the morning like this. We'll just use our beach cart right here for a rod holder. Ah. Perfect. Next rod going out right here is the bummy stick. And a lot of you guys are asking me, hey Brant, what's the best all around surf rod to use in the surf? And I would have to say that the bummy stick is number one because it's so versatile. All right, you can set rig fish. It's great for throwing spoons. Catch a big fish on it, a small fish on it. It's the 10 foot bummy stick. And I will link that in my description below. I love that rod for everything. Now it's just a waiting game. We're gonna hang out here, see if we can get a big bite. Now one question I get asked often on my channel is, Brent, how far do I throw my baits off the beach? And my suggestion to you would be to stagger them. As you can see right here, I've got four rods set out. I, I usually start with three and I'll throw one five to 10 feet off the beach. I'll throw another one as far as I can throw it. And then I'll throw another one medium ways because a lot of times these fish will stage in different spots daily, depending on tide where the bait's at. You could think you're not getting any bites when in reality you're 20 or 30 feet from where these fish are at. So I highly recommend staggering your setups off the beach. It's our little rod. Of course, it's the first one to get hit. It just got Got smacked right here. Let's see if he's still on there. I don't think he is. Dang, he's off. I was like, oh, 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 our big rod's getting, or our pompano rod's getting hit now. Hold on. Okay. Okay, let's get it right back out here, though. Right there, I put it literally right next to shore and it got smacked. Fred's already here with us, waiting, guys. He just, he's like, man, y'all gonna catch me a ladyfish or something, feed me some breakfast. Don't feed Fred, y'all. I am pretty sure we've got a fish on right here, folks. In fact, I mean, that rod went so slack. Let's see. Ah. Oh yeah, we're on. Finally, a decent fish hooked up right here, folks. This may be breakfast right here. This may be breakfast. Let's see what we caught it on. This is a nice fish. Come on, come on. Oh gosh, remora. Unbelievable, dude. And folks, if you don't know what a remora is, it's those guys that suck onto the back of shark. See that suction that they have on their head right there? That was a pompano fake out is what that was. I thought I had a nice pompano coming in. I thought I had breakfast. This rod right here, the line is completely slack. There has got to be a fish on it. Or either we had a fish on it and he came off. One of the two. Oh, look, no, we got a fish. He's running down the beach right here. Look at there. We definitely got a nice fish on right here. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, big old whiting. Heck yeah, that's the first good fish of the day right here. Check out that whiting right here. That is a nice, healthy whiting. That's a good one. Guys, we're gonna take a big cut piece of whiting and chunk it out here just to see what happens. All right. Ah, I think we got a fish on our other rod now. Dang, they're starting to bite. 
Guys, I think the fish are starting to bite. I think we've got another one on here. Ah, uh, he came off. Dang. There's a few fish hanging around here. That cut whiting just got hit. And this he's on there. This line is like, I think we got a good fish on right here. Yep, we do. <laughs> Something ain't this cut whiting. It's <laughs> We're on, y'all. Uh, it's coming in. It ain't that big. I don't know what it is. I think it's a big old ray. It ain't even a big ray at that. Yep, there we go. Stingray, y'all. Oh, ate the cut bait. Old stingrayer. Try and get the hook out of this guy. We got the hook out. We're going to let this ray go. Get on out of here, buddy. Come on. I actually don't think that's a stingray. That's a uh, that's some, a different type of skate, and I don't know exactly what type it is. If y'all know, comment below. Got a four rod spread going right here, folks. We've got two close small rods, one way out rod, and then our big rod down there on the end. It's got a big bait on it, so we've got all angles covered. I think we got another fish on our end rod right here. It's show sure acting like it. Yep, fish on. Heck yeah. Decent fish too. Kind of heavy. Kind of heavy. What are we working with? Probably just another big whiting, but still. Yep, that's all it is. Big old whiting right here. That's a good fish, man. That ain't bad at all. I'll take these all day long. When I'm using shrimp on the beach like I am today, I like using little pieces, about like that right there. I will, if they're good shrimp, I'll peel them. And what peeling them does is it just, it usually entices a better bite. Surf fishing's funny, man. You can sit here for an hour and not get a bite, and then all of a sudden, Boom, 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 your rods just start going off. So let's, while the bite's hot, let's get another bait out there. Guys, I think we're getting bit on this one right here. Yeah, we definitely have a fish on right here. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, decent fish too, man. He's running me down the beach. Bet it's another whiting. Oh yeah, come on in here, buddy. Nice one. Ain't nothing wrong with him. These are quality fish, right? Anytime you can get the quality whiting that are edible, that's what you want, all right? Got that little rod back out there. Both of these rods just got smoked right here. I think there's one on this one right here. Yeah, there is. There it is. <laughs> it's a ladyfish. I'm pretty sure. Or a bluefish one. It's jumping. Ladyfish. Doubled up on the ladies right here, y'all. Look at this. So I'm just taking a little piece of shrimp. I've got eight pound test mono attached to my surf rig right here. And that's the rig these fish are hitting. Let's get it back out there. Little rod got hit again. Let's see. Yep, fish on, fish on. Come here. Come here. Oh, another giant, dude. Another app. Look at the size of this sucker. That is another tank of a whiting right here, folks. Look at the size of these guys, man. All of a sudden, the giant whiting started biting, and we're getting hit now with every bait. My little rod's getting hit right now as I'm talking. And that little rod is completely slack. Got to be one on it. Yep, he's running down the beach. There he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another whiting. I had this one literally five feet from shore, dude. Look at what a fish right here, y'all. Nice. 
Healthy, dude. Can't stop now that they've started biting. This one just got smoked right here. I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, he's on there. That's a good, good fish. Yeah, that's a good fish. This may be a pompano. He's coming right to, no, it's a giant whiting, dude. Check out this whiting right here. Whoop. There he is. That's another one going home for breakfast right here. This is a learning uh, opportunity for you guys. I was set up a few minutes ago right down there. That's where I started. And I never got any bites, hardly at all. Gonna move down a little bit. As soon as I move down, it's boom, 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 boom. So sometimes if you're not getting any bites, continuously move down the beach until you find where they're at. The fruits of our labor right here. Sometimes you just need some fried fish, potato salad, some coleslaw. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Pensacola, Florida. Like y'all look at that and it's like 65 degrees, 70 degrees. It is absolutely beautiful out here. We're about to eat us some fried fish. Life is good, you know, I, and I got to admit, this winter so far for some reason has been one of the toughest winters i've had on my channel just trying to find the motivation to get out and uh and fish it's just been hard to push through but we're doing it i can tell you that let's let's try this fish right here i don't know if you saw my last video i deep fried fish with our uh with our new for outdoor fryer love it that way but today i just did these guys in breadcrumbs on the stove top in the house and they're amazing like that too. Thank you guys for uh, coming out to our sale this weekend. We had a big sale at the warehouse. Sale went phenomenal, like way better than we expected. But and thank you for that. Like you guys, there, there was so many people there and uh, we could not be more appreciative of you guys coming out and supporting us. If you enjoyed that video, shoot me a big thumbs up. Everything I'm involved with linked in my description below. I am a licensed real estate agent right here along the Florida Gulf Coast. So if you are looking to purchase a house anywhere in the state of Florida, hit me up because if I can't help you, um, I will refer you out to one of the agents that I work with. They'll be happy to help. And I've worked with so many of you guys over the last five years that have come down here and bought vacations homes and so it's one uh, way that I get to meet my subscribers that has been really cool so other than that folks we will catch you next time